Hello everybody, how are you today? Hope you're having a good day. We are going to do a bloom today. I am still uh, working on a bunch of tiles for upcoming craft shows this summer. Uh, we're going to do this pretty combination. This is Liquitex Cerulean, I think that's how you say it, paint. It's a color combination I saw online somewhere. Folk art, metallic aquamarine next we have artist loft cadmium yellow go for all the springy colors today Primary elements, French Kiss Pigment. Oh, what did I do? I grabbed the wrong thing. It wasn't a stick. So this one's a little bit thick. We're going to thin this out just a tad. I do that with my three parts Minwax Polycrylic, one part water. This is still thick. I haven't used this color in a while. So it did kind of thicken up a little bit. And you'll get to know, the more you do this, you'll get to know exactly when your paints are too thick, just by feel. There we go. And this little piggy funk. This is probably my favorite purple. Except for that dioxazine purple. Well, and then there's that deep blue violet. That's pretty. Never mind. <laughs> I don't know what I like best. Okay. And we're going to go with a black cell activator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this back over to the center. I'm going to pop my bubbles. Same old sing song every time. I'm going to stir my cell activator really good. And then I'm going to try something different with the blowout today. I'm going to not blow down in the center and see what difference that makes. So I've got a nice halo this stuff out of the way and we're just going to blow from this side of the cell activator and across okay we're going to stop right there now that's nice um, I have really decided I don't like blowing down in the center as much. So 
So that was a bad blow because I didn't get enough cell activator over that way, but it's okay. And you got to give it time to do it. See, I got much better cell definition that way. So what I kind of noticed is when I blow down into that center like I usually do, uh, the paint gets really thin there. And I don't get as many cells in the center as I do when I blow straight across. And then I get them over more of the tile. So I really do like this better. And there's still um, room for that paint to come back in and give me those center cells. So this is gorgeous. I'm going to quit there. Just quit. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. So now I'm going to let it continue to do its thing. I'm going to kind of drag some paint off over to the corners. To help me out there and um, this was the pillow here was a tinted PPG it is called Misty Aqua you can uh, tint the PPG but um, just the lighter colors they uh, will tell you I wanted to get a really dark blue and they're like no we can't do that in the can that I wanted that I know that works this is beautiful so let's spin so the can that works for the pillow cannot be done in the darker darker colors because they need to use a different base for that but you can get these pastel colors so that, oh wow, this is gorgeous. Whoops. I'm all cattywampus today. Can you tell cattywampus is like my favorite word for mayhem? I use it all the time. That was one of my dad's favorite words. When things were going wrong, dad said it's going all cattywampus. Wow. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. <laughs> yes, I am done blowing down in the center. I really am. I have tried to make that work. Everybody does that. And it just does not work for me. And you've got to find out what works for you. Holy cow. Oh, we're, we're making this a two for today. This is so pretty. I need to make two of these. So now I want to get some paint over here. I take and drag my mat that way. Then the centrifugal force sends it that way. Let me go get another tile. So you want to get as much paint as you can off. So that there's no longer any movement. And that way you do not get cracking and crazing. So let me come over here so I can see what I'm showing you. Look at that. This is beyond gorgeous. Let me get my spinner in there. Okay, let's take this one off. We're going to do another. This is so good. Wait, oh, I might hang up here with you and do a total of four of them. That's so pretty. So pretty. Okay. Got that out of the way. Oh, wow. I'm so excited. That's the best pour I've had in a long, long time. The best bloom. Now 
Now, if you ever goof up on a tile and you don't like it and you want to get rid of it, you got to scrape it off and repaint over it. Um, because if you let it dry and you paint over it, all that paint is going to lift off the tile. Your other option is you can let it dry, soak the tile in water, like get it, let it soak in water for a few minutes, and that paint will peel right off of there. So that's how, that's why tiles are great for beginners, because you can paint over them again and again and again. That's our PPG, Misty Aqua. All right, let's put the colors down again. Isn't it nice when you have a good painting day? Sometimes you go through stages. Some of them just... You're doing bad for a while, and then you hit the magic spot, and everything you do turn, turns out good. I'm probably speaking too soon. Who knows what this one will turn out like. We'll see, but it happens. Gotta go with the flow. And I usually post all my videos, whether they're good or whether they're bad, because you can always learn something from both. You learn from the bad and you learn from the good. One little bubble. That's pretty good. My cell activator. That's three parts. Um... Australian Floetrol and one part Amsterdam Oxide Black Paint. Two good blooms. Wow. There we go. We're going to give it time to do its thing. Got to give it time for all of that. So now I don't have as much of a concave um, center there because I didn't do that blow down. And I am really liking this, this way of doing it. Definitely the go-to way for me. We're going to take our time. We're going to let it, let it develop before we spin too quickly. Clean off my tools here. All right, we are going to spin. So what I have noticed is 
my blooms were much, much better with the PPG Multi Pro. Um, I recently uh, ran out of that in my smaller containers and I needed to fill those up. And so I used my Walmart Color Place instead. And boy, was that thinner. And it did not work well so I have to um, leave that open a little bit and let that thicken so that it's usable and you can do that just open up your paint can a little bit open it up lay the the um, lid on loosely and just leave it open to the air you will want to stir it every day gently so that you don't develop a skin but that's how you thicken your pillow and remember you want your pillow to be the thickest of all the colors of all the um, layers then your colors are a little thinner and your cell activator is the thinnest very important oh this is beautiful gorgeous we'll spin some more I'm so excited Wow. Okay, let me bring this up and show you. Look at those cells. We got peacock cells galore. Just stunning. Peacock cells are the ones that have multiple colors within a cell. How pretty is that? So, um, yeah. That's going to be my new go-to um, way of blowing out the blooms. Just blow it, put the cell activator in and start sending it sideways. Just beautiful. So if you learned something or you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I am zooming in to 500 subscribers. I can't wait to get there. I wanted to get there before the end of this month. I don't know if I'm going to make it, but with your help, I can. All right, everybody. Thank you and have a great day. Take care.